Hi everyone, welcome again. In the last video, we learned how to use open faint clients to make API to API calls. In the previous video, we developed the Eureka server, which is the service registry. Then we developed two microservices, microservice 1 and microservice 2. Then we configured the faint client in microservice 2, which is the caller API. And using that faint client, we called microservice 1 from microservice 2. In that demo, we mainly focused on the get mapping methods, which is the HTTP get calls. In this video, we will quickly see how can we call post mapping methods for the HTTP post requests. This is the high controller which belongs to microservice 2. And right now it has two get mapping methods. This one does not accept any parameters, but this one accepts a path variable. For this demo, we will add a new method in this controller which will be for HTTP post methods and it will use the annotation at the rate post mapping. We will return a simple string response back to the client whether the resource was created or not. And let's name it create something because this is an HTTP POST method which is used to create the resources. We will use the annotation at the rate POST mapping and we will define a URL pattern create. We know for the HTTP POST methods in order to consume the request data, we need to use the annotation request body. And then we use a model object, a simple poser to hold that data. In this example, let's name it request model, which does not exist as of now, but we will create it soon. For this demo, in this method, we will simply print the request model. But in a real project, this method would do something to create the resources. A complex logic would be here. And in the end, it will return a simple string response. Let's say resource created. Okay. Ignore this model for now. We also know that in order to call this controller, this microservice 1 from microservice 2, we need to make changes in pain client as well. We need to add some declaration here for the new method. And we know to do that, we simply copy the method definition or the declaration without the body and we paste it in the pain client. But if you notice, these two are different projects. These two have different code bases. So we need to write this request model somewhere where this can be shared between these two microservices. So where should we create it? If we create it only in microservice 1, then it will not be accessible in microservice 2. And if we write this model in microservice 2, then we will have to somehow pass it to microservice 1 so that they can share the same model. So ideally there should be a library, a separate library that can be added as a dependency to these microservices so that we can share the model. But in this demo, we will not create a new library. But since we have a multi-module project, we will add the new class somewhere in the root project or the root module so that we can share the class in microservice 1 and microservice 2. So we have this root project or the root module open faint demo. And in the SRC main Java, we can create a new package. So let's add the package util. And in this util package, we can create this Java class request model. This model would have two simple fields, string fields for now. Let's say param1 and param2. And we'll add getters and setters for both the properties. And we will also add a two string method. All right. So we created the request model in the root project or in the root module. The next thing is we need to set up the dependency so that it can be shared in microservice 1 and microservice 2. So let's go to microservice 1 first and we can open the module setting here in the dependency. We can add the dependency as module dependency and we need to select the root module which is open paint demo. Click OK, hit apply. OK. And similarly in microservice 2, we will open the open module settings and we can add the dependency of module. Again, we need to select the open fan demo. OK, hit apply and hit OK. So we have added the dependency of the module of the root module in microservice 1 and in microservice 2. The next thing is we need to import the model. And this time we can see this is coming from org.example.util. So it can access the common model now. And similarly, in the microservice 2, in the pain client. Okay. And in the greed controller, which belongs to service 2, hold on. 
the high controller belongs to service one okay so the greet controller which belongs to service two we need to add a new post method that will be called by the client so let's add a new method here which will return a string response and uh, we can name anything do something the important thing is it must be annotated with post mapping for this demo and we can define a url create one for example and add the annotation request body we need to add request model that we created and then from this method we will call service one client which is the fain client create something and we will pass this request model so what we are doing when a client makes an http call to microservice 2 which will be intercepted by grid controller it will call the microservice 1 via this fain client and it will pass that request body or that request model to microservice 1 microservice 1 will consume this model it will print the request on the console then it will return a response which is response created oh, sorry the resource created and when the response is received by the microservice 2 it will return that response back to the client and in this case we will use postman as a client for the post request so first of all let's start all the services so we'll start with the eureka server eureka server is up let's start microservice 1 and 2 both so microservice 1 is up and registered with the eureka registry and similarly microservice 2 is almost up yes it's up now now let's go to the eureka dashboard and we can see both the services have been registered with this new service registry so the next step is we need to call microservice 2 let's copy the url this url will be used to make an http post call from the postman so we'll open the postman here we need to change the method to post because it's going to be a post request and then 8091 this is the url and we need to pass the url pattern as well for this method which is in the microservice 2 so this is the endpoint for http post method which is defined in microservice 2 the next thing is we need to pass the body to pass the body we will use json so let's select the json and define the body there are two parameters in the model param1 and the value of param1 is let's say value 1 then we need to pass the second value for param2 now when we hit send it will initiate an http post request to microservice2 which will then call microservice1 via fain client so let's hit send and we see the response resource created that means microservice 2 successfully called microservice 1 and it was an http post call from start to end and if we check the logs of microservice 1 we see this request model printed in the logs that's what we did in the high controller sorry here yeah so calling the post mapping method is same as calling the get mapping method the only thing is we need to manage the models as we have to share them between the microservices so it was a quick video that's all for this one see you in the next video thanks for watching